Hello and welcome to the Nick Dinsmore YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment, share, and give us a thumbs up. Follow former WWE superstar Eugene Nick Dinsmore on social media. Check out NickDinsmore.com. Hey, wait a minute. You want to see professional wrestling? Well, don't touch that dial because Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling is next and it's wrestling the way it used to be and the way you like it. Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling is on the air. I'm Dean Hill. Thanks for being with us. Thanks to the great people from WDRB TV Channel 41 for giving us an opportunity to uh, bring our show into your home. Thanks to all these great fans you hear out here screaming OVW. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege this week to be sitting here next to a man that was the NWA Rookie of the Year in 1967. He co-hosted Georgia Championship Wrestling in 1973 with the great Gordon Soley and was the first man ever inducted into the Smoky Mountain Hall of Fame in 1995. I'm talking about wrestling legend Les Thatcher. Les, thanks for being here. Hey Dean, it's always a pleasure to be with you and here uh, back to see my good friend Danny Davis. I want to say this that I had not seen Ohio Valley Wrestling until a few weeks ago, Jim Cornette called me and he said, Les Thatcher, have you seen Ohio Valley Wrestling? I said, I haven't seen it, Jim. He said, it's the best kept secret in the United States, the greatest produced independent wrestling program. And you know what? I looked at this tape for the first time a couple weeks ago, Dean, and he is right. You guys have one of the best produced programs in this entire nation. I want to congratulate you on that. And it's a pleasure to be here and join you for tonight. And of course, where you see NWA wrestling, you see tradition, and that's right here in Ohio Valley. Les, thank you very much. We're very privileged to have you here with us. We'd also like to thank Les, the biggest thing we have going here, as you know, is the tradition of professional wrestling. There's no obscene language here in the Ohio Valley. There's no extreme violence. This is the kind of professional wrestling that the fans, you, myself, we grew up with. We got the uh, Southern Tag titles here as well, Les. You notice know the these? You know the prestige with these belts. Wow, yes, sir, I sure do, Dean. The Midnight Express, the Rock and Roll Express, the Nightmares, a lot of great teams. The fans, these the belts. Fantastics. Absolutely. And we got a semifinal match on the court for you tonight, so ladies and gentlemen, to see who advances in the tag tournament to find out who's going to get a chance to wear these Southern Tag titles. And if we have time for it, we got a battle royal plan tonight, Les. I'm going to need your help getting through that battle royal. All right, a lot of excitement, the winner, Dean. The winner is going to get a shot at the heavyweight title, which is presently around the waist of, you know who I'm talking about, Hustler Rip Rogers. Hey, and you talk about a tough veteran. Double R is the man. Rip Double Rogers, R tough the tough guy. Man. Yes, sir. We got a lot of exciting wrestling in store for you. Let's get underway. Faye Davis, take it away. This tag match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Louisville, Kentucky, the newest sensation in wrestling, Mike Sensation. And his tag team partner from Evansville, Indiana, the most handsome man in wrestling, Jason Lee. And their opponent from Pittsburgh, PA, the Iron Man, Rob Conway. And his tag team partner from Jeffersonville, Indiana, Nick Dinsmore. Nick Dinsmore and the Iron Man, Rob Conway, in the red trunks. Jason Lee and Mike Sensation, their opponents. Referee Joe Wheeler calling for the bell. Great tag team action. Less uh, Nick Dinsmore in the red against Jason Lee in the pink and white. Now Nick comes to us from Providence High School here in Southern Indiana. He was a two-sport all-star. He was a wrestler and a, a football player for, uh, I believe, Coach Sartini there at Providence. His partner is the Iron Man, Rob Conway. Started out as a uh, bodybuilder, worked his way into professional wrestling here one night. And, of course, uh, Mike Sensation in the blue and gray stripes. You know, no doubt that uh, both Densmore and his partner have spent their time in the weight room. And, of course, that's part of the complete package, Dean. 
that takes to make it in pro wrestling. I saw these guys on the tape I mentioned earlier of Ohio Valley Wrestling a couple weeks ago. They were impressive, and I think uh, their teamwork was what reminded me so much if we talk about tradition in NWA Tag Team Wrestling, these guys have got it. The teamwork is something that really surprised us here as well. Dinsmore was originally partner partnered up with a man by the name of Juan Utado. Juan was injured out here one night. Conway was out here introducing himself to the crowd. Ends up coming up out of the crowd, takes his shirt off, offers his assistance to Dinsmore. These two guys ended up becoming great friends. They started working out together. They uh, become great tag team, and just like you mentioned, so many great tag teams know how to get in and out of the ring quickly. That good uh, hand movement, eye-hand coordination, these young men seem to have it. You're right. Well, you know, you mentioned their friendship. They work out together. You know, if you got a good tag team partner, there are times you'll spend more time with that partner than you will with your own family, and you get to know them just as well or better than your family. That's what it takes to succeed, and I know that every team in Ohio Valley Wrestling wants these belts because of the tradition and the prestige that they hold. Like we said, ladies and gentlemen, tradition is what means the most to us here in the Ohio Valley. To um, have the type of uh, wrestling that you grew up, no obscene language, no extreme violence, the kind of wrestling that you can uh, bring your children to, that's what we want to have here. Listen, I've had a lot of people ask how to get here. You take I-65 northbound across the Kennedy Bridge, you uh, take exit number one, that puts you off on the 10th Street, Follow that down about four blocks or so to Mechanic Street. You make a left-hand turn. We're at 1121 Mechanic Street, Jeffersonville, Indiana, at the Quadrangle Complex. Mike Sensation, quite a drop kick there to Nick Dinsmore. Goes over and makes the take. No, puts Dinsmore's head into the boot. Dinsmore coming back. Dinsmore's got the power. He's been in that weight room. We're going to say it again. And this guy, Conway, along with Dinsmore, made their slam. double trouble. They're calling for the rocket launcher, Les. They call this the rocket launcher. Here's what they're calling for. And Dinsmore plants him. One, two, three. Your winners, Rob Conway and Nick Dinsmore. Les, this is one of the best-looking tag teams that we have here. We'd like to thank these guys have a chance maybe to wear these Southern Tag Team titles. And you know they were trained right here at Davis Arena by none other than professional wrestler Nightmare Danny Davis. Now, I, I brought that up, Les. Uh, I understand that you also have a, a wrestling uh, training center. Yes, I do, Dean. Where's of course, it at? Uh, it is in Cincinnati. Uh, it's uh, Heartland Wrestling Association, Les Thatcher's main event pro wrestling camp. We're at 10235 Spartan Drive, Suite D in Cincinnati, 45215. The phone number, 513-771-1650. And I'll tell you the truth, uh, I think that my basics, my traditional background uh, would give you the same kind of thing that uh, Danny Davis, and that is that we respect the basics, the holes, the counter holes, and that's what it takes. You know, there's many different styles of wrestling today. I think that's what makes it so exciting, but tradition and basics is the foundation of all of that, Dean. You'll learn that here at uh, Nightmare University, or you're going to learn it at main event, uh, Les Thatcher's main event in Cincinnati. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to be trained in professional wrestling, be trained by somebody with a resume. Danny Davis, the uh, Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, USWA Light Heavyweight Champion. I'm talking about a man with a resume. How about the NWA Rookie of the Year? Those of you in the Cincinnati area, make your way down to Les uh, Thatcher's Training Center. Be trained by a professional. Now we got more action. Single action coming right now in the ring. Faye Davis, take it away. This match is one fall with a 10 minute time limit. Introducing first from Indianapolis, Indiana, Flash Flanagan and his opponent from the good old USA, the American Ninja. The American Ninja in the black ninja outfit. Flash Flanagan in the silver and red. Your referee is Robert Briscoe. I'm going to tell you what, Flash Flanagan is not well liked, as I can tell, by the Ohio Valley fans. But this young man, I've watched him grow as a professional in that ring, Dean, and he gets better every time out. I think this guy has got a bright, bright future. And, of course, this guy, the ninja, he moves in there, boy. He's got a lot of speed, a lot of agility. 
The ninja known for his martial arts uh, maneuvers as well as his speed and agility. Flash Flanagan known for the speed and agility and the aerial assault. You're going to see a lot of fast movements. Keep your eyes on the screen here, ladies and gentlemen, because every second is action in the ring with these two. Briscoe gets the two count. Some pretty reverse leg whip. Leg whip by the ninja. I'll tell you what, you know, Flash amazes me. He moves like a cruiserweight, yet he's carrying a lot more weight than, that's, uh, than that particular weight class of wrestler. And he can stay right up with this ninja, but yet he's got the power, Dean, to overpower the faster man and take him to that mat and cut that power out. Man, what a maneuver from Flash Flanagan getting out of the way of the ninja's moonsault. Unbelievable action out here right now. Flash Flanagan, I'm sure those of you uh, are sure you're trying to figure where do I know this man from? You've seen him on WWF Monday Night Raw. You've seen him on USWA as one half of the tag team champions. Flash is a young man out here in the business, but you will notice his face for quite a few years. Look at the move from the ninja. What balance. Up to that top rope, off with a drop kick. Now's the time. If he's going to put Flash away, this should be it for the ninja. Pretty slingshot with that clothesline. That's it. Your winner, Flash Flanagan. Flash Flanagan taking the match single action here in the Ohio Valley. I wanted to talk to you, ladies and gentlemen, for a second about the history of these Southern belts, Les. Nobody could talk better about the history of this than you. Some of the great tag teams of all time that have held these, the, the Fabs, the Fantastics. Exactly. Of course, we mentioned the Nightmare, the Rock and Roll Express, the Midnight Express. But you know another thing about these Southern tag belts, Dean, they also represent the National Wrestling Alliance, which represents prestige. As you mentioned earlier, Ohio Valley Wrestling is now a member of that prestigious organization. That is the best thing, ladies and gentlemen, that we've been able to announce since the Southern Tag Teams and since, of course, Les, the, Les Thatcher walked out here. We are now going to be admitted, Ohio Valley is going to be admitted into the National Wrestling Alliance. We know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. It's like when you buy a product and you see the good housekeeping seal of approval or the underwriter's laboratory seal of approval on it. This means a great deal here in the Ohio Valley. Uh, Les, can you give us some of the history of the NWA? Yes, well, at one point, the National Wrestling Alliance was the most powerful organization in professional wrestling across the world. Members in New Zealand, Australia, Japan, Mexico, Germany, England, and of course, where you see the NWA logo, you're going to see traditional professional wrestling, just like you see here in the Ohio Valley. Ladies and gentlemen, tradition is the word here in the Ohio Valley. It's the reason we have Les Thatcher out here to bring a little bit of living legend here to the Ohio Valley. We are privileged to be a part of this, and we're going to make you proud of us, I promise. Listen, I told you we had a semifinal match tonight to see who was going to go on in the tournament to wear these Southern Tag titles, and buddy, here it comes. Faye Davis, take it away. This tag match is one fall with TV time remaining. Introducing first... The man who hails from everywhere that calls his house his mobile, Trailer Park Trash. And his tag team partner from Seymour, Indiana, the Ohio Valley heavyweight champion, Hustler Rip Rogers. And their opponent from Hawk Holler, Kentucky, Jebediah Blackhawk and Cousin Otter. Jebediah, Blackhawk, and Cousin Otter in the uh, overalls. Hold on, we're underway. This is to see who goes forward in the tag team tournament. This match sees who goes into the finals. Hustler Rip Rogers, the heavyweight champion, out here in the, uh, the pink. His partner, Trailer Park Trash, is locked up presently with Jebediah Blackhawk. Rip Rogers has Cousin Otter. My first look at the uh, team of Jebediah and Cousin but I've seen the hustler Rip Rogers around a long time. He's a tough veteran campaigner. And of course, I've uh, locked horns with uh, Trailer Park. And this kid is an up and comer, Dean. Him combined with Rip Rogers. Although I was checking out Rip's attire, a sequin jacket and a baseball cap. He's not going to make gentlemen's quarterly cover this month. I don't, I don't think so, Les. You know, what's troubled us? Oh, a meeting of the minds in the ring at the hands of Jeb and I and Cousin Otter. 
what's troubled us, pardon me, ladies and gentlemen, what's troubled us here, uh, Les, is the trailer park trash was actually a fan favorite here for a long time. And it wasn't until uh, getting a little jealous of some attention given to his cousin by the wrestling fans, he got under the the tutelage of uh, Hustler Rip Rogers, and now he is one of the most hated men trash is here in the Ohio Valley. Well, that's been consistent with Rip Rogers throughout his career, Dean. If there's a most hated every year, Rip may have won it all hands down straight across the board. These two big country boys, though, they've got a lot of power, but, uh, you know, it takes, as I always say, the complete package. You need the speed, the power, some mat skills. You need to go to the air. And, of course, I think Rogers and Trailer Park exemplify that. That's true. That's true. Uh, Gemini, Blackhawk, and Cousin Otter, a couple good old boys out here from Hawk Holler, Kentucky. They know a lot about scrappling. And hold on, we got a cover. Joe Wheeler got up to the two mark. Jebediah and Trailer Park trash. Scoop slam plants him. I hope you get an opportunity. I don't know if you will or not, Les, but uh, Cousin Otter likes to climb up on that top rope and do what I call the Hawk Holler Splash. I don't know if we'll have a chance to see him tonight or not, but, boy, he plants some people out here with that 350 pounds coming straight I down. I bet he does just getting that 350 to that top rope. should be quite a spectacular. He is quite agile for a big man. I'm surprised. Jebediah Blackhawk tags in. Otter sets trash up for the right across the ring. Double elbow. Good teamwork by the cousin of Jedediah. Rogers in. And of course, this is where Rip comes on strong when he can get in and double up with his partner, but they haven't been successful here. Meeting, meeting of the minds. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had some people ask us about uh, renting the arena here at Davis Arena. You can do so. Give us a call, 280-7039. A choke slam from Jebediah. Cousin Iron. Look, trailer. Oh, the trailer jack coming down, dropping that leg. He likes to call the trailer jack. Rip Rogers with the cover. One, two, three. Oh, Rip Rogers. Your winners, Trailer Park Trash and Rip Rogers. Oh, man, Rip Rogers and Trailer Park Trash, ladies and gentlemen, have advanced on into the finals to see who's going to have an opportunity to wear these southern belts. And also the people, as you know, Les, the tag team that wears these southern belts becomes the contenders for the NWA belts. Absolutely. And, of course, I, you know, I've got to lean towards Rogers and Trailer Park Trash. Rip Rogers, again, a good veteran, can still move like these young kids. This guy is going to be tough, and he's got a good young partner to back him up, Dean. That's true. Rip Rogers and Trailer Park Trash are going to be a force to be reckoned with in the heavyweight finals. Personally, I'd have to admit to you, I thought Jebediah and Cousin Otter were going to be able to take it up, but it, it just didn't work out that way. I, I tell you right now, uh, the good news is it looks like we got plenty of time for this battle royal. All right, and it should be a great one, huh? I'm looking forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, contestants should be making their way to the squared circle here in just a minute. I see Vito uh, Andretti making his way out, the Shade Tree Mechanic. I see the intern coming out, the Assassins 1 and 2 out here in the red mass entering the squared circle. Uh, Jason Lee in the white and pink making his way in. Mike Sensation, Flash Flanagan, Trailer Park Trash. Juan Utado, the danger zone from Panama City, makes his way in. Jason Jaguar in the uh, Jaguar print over there, the American Ninja. Uh, looks like Nick Densmore and Rob Conway. Jebediah Blackhawk, Cousin Otter. Uh, oh, and the man out here, Les, you're going to want to see this guy. The man out there in the uh, crazy outfit, the uh, the straight jacket, he's called Cousin Crazy. Well, he's aptly named that, Dean, I'd say. But, you know, of course, the winner of this thing. Oh, there, Briscoe calling for the bell. We're underway. Go ahead, Les. The winner of this thing, of course, gets a shot at the heavyweight title. Right That's next it. Week. Next week here on TV, the winner of this battle royal gets a shot at Rip Rogers and the heavyweight title here in the Ohio Valley. Also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are interested, you see yourself doing, uh, sitting at home watching this and think you could be the next phenom in professional wrestling, give us a call here at 280-7039. Be trained by a legend. Be trained by Danny Davis. Have someone teach you the professional wrestling that is a person with a resume. Those of you in the Cincinnati area, again, Les, tell them the phone number to your training school in Cincinnati. 513-771-1650, give us a call. You know, this is as wild as it gets, Dean. These battle royals can be dangerous. You get thrown down in the middle of that ring, you can have four or five guys 
stomping right across the top of you before you even get a chance to move. This is exciting wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the kind of action you hear the crowd see about here screaming. This is the kind of excitement that we have every Wednesday night for our TV taping. Bell time is 7 o'clock. Bring your family, bring your signs, be part of our wrestling family here in the Ohio Valley. The kind of wrestling you grew up with, ladies and gentlemen. No obscene language, no extreme violence. Now, you know, this is where Cousin Otter, his weight's going to come in handy because it'll be tough to dump him over that top rope. It's going to take more than one wrestler. Also, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, seven minutes remaining, seven minutes left in the TV time. Also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, those of you that are interested in sponsoring Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling, we got room here to put your business logo up on the wall, your business telephone number, it seemed, for the entire 30 minutes that we are on WDRB Fox 41 every Saturday night at 1 a.m. Give us a call here at 280-7039 for information on rent -a to how to rent the arena how to sponsor Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling, and also how to get in the Ohio Valley Training Center. Les Thatcher, it has just been a privilege for me to be here with you this evening. I'm learning so much having a legend like yourself to my left. Dean, bless your heart. It's always a joy to see you, and it's great being here at Ohio Valley Wrestling. This battle wall, you know, I'm kind of singled out. Trailer Park Trash and Flash Flanagan. These two guys are like commandos, hit and run, moving from one guy to the other, looking for an advantage. Six minutes left in the match. Six minutes. Everybody is taking a shot at Cousin Otter, and I've been keeping my eye on him. And again, like I said, if nothing else, just the fact that he's 350 pounds. Someone's out. Someone's out. Who is it? I'm not sure if I can tell. It might be the intern. It appears to be the intern, Dean. It is the intern. He's out of the match. This is over the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. If you hit the concrete, you're out of here. Or if you get pinfall, either which one. It looks like the ninja is out. I'm not sure from my vantage it, point. It was the ninja. We've got two out, two down. We got uh, assassin number two locked up with Cousin Crazy. Jason Jaguar just threw my sensation out. Now uh, Hutano and Jason Jaguar are tied up. Nims Moore's tied up with uh, Andre, the Shape Tree Mechanic. Trailer Park Trash and Jason Lee are working on Cousin Otter. Exactly. And it looks like that's what it's going to take to get Otter out of here. Where'd Flanagan head off? All right. Flanagan's tied up in the ropes over here in front of referee Joe Wheeler watching stuff from the outside. Cousin Crazy working on Juan Otato. Ben's more his partner that's got Flanagan over there. That's, uh, yeah, Iron Man Rob Conway. Yeah. Now Andretti getting on him again, ladies and gentlemen. The winner of this gets a shot next week at Rip Rogers. And that should set everybody up. Five minutes left in the match. TV taping, five minutes left. And a trailer down on his four. Otter working at trailer right back at him. You know, that's a classic battle. Trailer Park and Cousin Otter have been blasting each other for the last three minutes here. These guys are flat going at it. They got a shot at the heavyweight title. That's the reason they see the major league light at the end of the tunnel, and they want a slice of it. Jebediah was almost up. Jason Lee had him up and uh, Cousin Otter full down. Jason Jaguar is up on the top rope at the hands of the assassin. He's almost out of there. Yes. Jaguar hits the uh, hits the floor. He is out. The assassin number two working on Vito Andretti. Flash Flanagan tied up over there with uh, Conway. No, excuse me, with Dinsmore. Now Jebediah and Cousin Otter go to work on Flash Flanagan. Well, the assassin's got Conway in this corner. One of the assassins is out over here, Dean. Both of them are out. That's They're right. Both, both down. assassins are out. We're down to what? Eight, nine wrestlers in that ring. And we're under five minutes. We've got to be getting close to the four. Four minutes left in the match. Four minutes. Cousin Crazy is out. Cousin Crazy has been pinned out. Briscoe trying to get him out of the ring. Of course, it's, it's down now. I'm not sure your best wrestlers, your luckiest wrestlers anyway. They've stayed out of harm's way. But, uh... It's it's more Conway had trash almost up. Vito makes the save there. Otter just got pinned. Has, has Otter been pinned? Yes. Oh, my. Otter's Flanagan out. got help from Jason Lee, and now Flanagan's right on Lee's... It looked like a double DDT from my vantage point, but I just caught the tail end of it. Cousin Otter, one of the fan favorites to win this, has been eliminated. 
Jebediah still working on Juan Utado. Nick Dinsmore tied up with Andretti. The trailer over the corner with the Iron Man. Three minutes left in the match. Three minutes. And I'll tell you what, I've been listening to the chops between Jason Lee and Flash Flanagan. These guys are going. I mean, they are cooking. This is for a shot at the heavyweight title. Vito has been eliminated. The uh, members of the Andretti camp, I'm sure, will be sorry to hear that. <laughs> we are down to two, four, six, seven men, it looks like. Juan Utado and Trailer Park Trash are working on Jebediah Blackhawk. Flash Flanagan's tied up with Nick Dinsmore. Jason Lee is tied up with the Iron Man. Yes. You know, I just wondered here, what if Trailer wins this thing? Does that mean he wrestles his partner for the title? Am I right? Good, good point, Les. That's hey. right. He would have to go into the... We have got two minutes left in the TV time. Two minutes. Juan Otano has been eliminated. Jebediah Blackhawk, another fan favorite, has been eliminated. Look at Flash Flanagan. He no, pulled no. him back in. He pulls himself back in. We're down to five men. Densmore, the Iron Man, Jason Lee, Trailer, and Flash Flanagan. And I think it's down right now to probably the five best wrestlers that were in that thing in terms of complete package here, Dean. Like you mentioned, it'll be interesting to see what happens if Trash wins. Jason Lee's gone. Oh, Jason's out of here. We're down to four. And one of these young men you see here, ladies and gentlemen, is going to get a shot at the heavyweight title. Oh, Trainer Park, he wants a shot at that title. But he knows he's got to fight Rip Moore. I don't sure, understand. We've, we've almost got us a tag team going here with Conway and Densmore, Flanagan and Trailer Park. And, of course, that's basically the way they're working this thing. But it's going to come down to just two guys at some point, Dean. And when it does... Even if it's your partner, you've got to turn on him. Jim's Moore is tied up in the ropes. Flash Flanagan and, and look, Flash and Trash are, are getting together on this. You can see it in their eyes. They're getting ready to tag team up here on Dinsmore. Can you say I that fast when we Flash and Trash ten times? Oh, really? I'm <laughs> Flash and Trash, Flash and Trash. Dinsmore has been, excuse me, Conway. Conway has been eliminated. Dinsmore still One is. One minute. One minute left. Look at here. Nick Densmore is impressing me more every moment here. He's stuck with these guys. All right, where are we going here? Flash with a slam. This trailer a, going topside. This is handicap situation. Two on one for Densmore. The trailer jack and nobody's home. Man, Whoa. nobody's home. There went a hit. Oh, I thought it was going to be a three. Only got a two. Trash is still in it. Dinsmore over the top rope, he, he, he catches him, look at look that at maneuver. Him. Skins the cat back over, suplex, pretty German suplex. He eliminates Flanagan, Flanagan is eliminated, we're down to two. And you know what we were talking about earlier could happen, Trash is still in this battle and he's got the offensive upper hand right now, Dean. We gotta be getting close on the TV time, they gotta be getting close. You can tell who these fans at Ohio Valley are for. It's Nick Densmore and Trailer. Trash has been eliminated. Your winner, Nick Densmore. Nick Densmore, ladies and gentlemen, the crowd is loving this. Nick Densmore, let's get the shot at Rip Rogers next week right here on TV. Flanagan thought he was helping out his partner and pulled that rope down. And Trailer went wheeling over the top. Nick Densmore came up your winner, and what a match that should be. Densmore and Rip Rogers. Okay, let me recap here very quickly for you. We saw uh, Nick Densmore and uh, Rob Conway win our first event here tonight on Ohio Valley. Of course, Flash Flanagan was uh, uh, successful against the Ninja. Also, we saw Rip Rogers and Trailer Park Trash advance in the Southern Tag Team right. Tournament. Uh, Les Thatcher, it's been a privilege for me to sit here next to you tonight. Dean, it's been a real pleasure to be here with you. And uh, it's always great to see my old friend Danny Davis. Ohio Valley Wrestling is great. I've enjoyed it. I really have. Great, great. The kind of wrestling you grew up with, ladies and gentlemen. No obscene language, no extreme violence. This is going to be great professional wrestling. And we're joining the NWA. It's great. I can't be more pleased to be affiliated with Danny Davis and Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling. From our family to yours, in the heart of the Ohio Valley, for Les Thatcher, I'm Dean Hill. See you at ringside. Please subscribe, comment, share, and give us a thumbs up. Follow former WWE superstar Eugene Nick Dinsmore on social media. Check out nickdinsmore.com.